What are you doing? Get up. We got a video. Bro, what is up? It's your boy, I'm bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen, today, today we got a fun one. Today we got an exciting one. Today we got a banger. As you already know, 2021 Toyota Tacoma SR5, or should I say, Super Rad 5. I tried. I tried. As you guys know, last video was a mod Monday, and uh, I asked you guys for 150 likes, and I would reveal what's on the other side of this truck. You guys absolutely destroyed it very, very fast. So, without further ado, we're going to be introducing my one-of-one -one build on this Tacoma. Now, it's not completely finished. That's why I didn't want to show it until it was actually finished, but this way we can build it and finish it together versus me doing it all behind your backs, and well, I don't know. I just felt a little bit dirty. But of course, first, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscription. It appr I appreciate it, and it helps out the channel very, very much. We actually just hit 1 million views on our channel, which is absolutely insane in the membrane. I know you guys want to see the truck, but first, let me explain why I did what I did. So, my last truck, 2020 TRD Sport 4x4 Quicksand. Uh, very popular color, very famous color. It was an amazing, amazing truck. And a lot of people raved about it. They told me how nice the wheels were, they told me how nice the tires were, they loved the mods that I had done to it. And it was fairly stock, and I think that's what I liked about it, that it was stock, but modded. It wasn't too overdone. I didn't want to step out of my comfort zone and go crazy on the truck because I honestly was scared of getting judged and absolutely obliterated on the interwebs. And ever since I was a young little lad, I've always been crazy, weird, whatever you want to call it. I always like to make things my own. What I'm getting at is that last truck, I felt like it wasn't really mine. I felt like it kind of blended in and it was ordinary. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people like it. So with that being said, when I bought this truck, I said, I'm not going to have any limits. I'm going to build the truck how I want it. I'm going to do what I want to it. And we're going to go crazy. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm about to show off the truck. I'm going to give you guys a little walk around so we know what we're looking at. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So we'll start on the side that you guys have already seen. Toyota OEM tailpipe cover. It's just the blacked out one in black chrome. General Grabber AT's 285-75 R16 with the Pro Comp 6969 series wheels. That's what they're called. I am not being childish. We got the Odero sidestep. Those are linked down below. Tacoma blacked out badging. Of course, window tint on the windows because that's where window tint goes, lift kit wise. We got the Bilstein 5100 front and rear. Diva Adelief back there. And then up here, we got the O-Man Emu 2888 Springs. Up front, we got blacked out headlights. On this side is fine. On that side, things are going to change. Right here, we got the stock fog lamps. We do need to change those out for some blacked out ones. Front grill. Help me out on this one. I don't know if I want to cut this grill in half, get a TRD Pro grill, insert it here. Problem is the sensor. The sensor, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be a problem. I don't know how I'm going to do it because the sensor is here on this one, but then on the Pro, it's down here. So that's a little bit tricky. I am also thinking about just painting that side black, black it out, and then this side chrome. Now we're moving over. We are going to get some chrome headlights. I'm thinking about just running the stock ones because these are stock, but just blacked out. The wheels are starting to poke out. They're trying to make their appearance. 285-75 R16 General Grabber ATs. Now, what do you think? I think they look absolutely snazzy. Now for the anti-chromist, these are not chrome. These are machined. No, they're absolutely 100% times 10 chrome. I actually had to buy different lug nuts for each side. So 24 lug nuts each running me 50 bucks, which was kind of a hard pill to swallow, but whatever, it's only 100 beans. My thumbs are absolutely beaten and destroyed the nail is like detached from my actual skin because it was like 20 degrees and you guys are over there smashing the like button which if you haven't already i appreciate it and i'm out here like taking off the overlays trying to get it off without scratching the paint cold i'm freezing i didn't even eat dinner with sandy it was horrible but now the truck's looking mighty mighty fine we did put the sr5 badge if you didn't realize it's not on the other side because it hasn't left the paint shop by the paint shop i mean i haven't plastic dipped it side rails still the same i was thinking about getting some chrome ones but really like these i love the look of them and it's just enough black i don't want to destroy this side with chrome it's just enough chrome if you get what i'm saying now this is where it gets good guys okay i need you guys to drop 50 likes for the rear end of this truck 50 beans or not beans likes there you go bada boom bada bing what do you think what do you think of this rear end? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Taylor Swift reference, I'm feeling nice and snazzy. It looks absolutely insane. I love it. It's so cool. It's so subtle, but it's so cool. 4x4, chrome, chrome, black, black, black. 
it kind of has like a fading deal going on there and then you can see the big 285s 75s r 16s looking nice and snazzy so what do you think some people are going to be fans some people are not over the moon in love with this truck never ever will i sell this truck no chance zero chances i'm super happy with it it's not even close to being done and there's so many things that i need to add that i want to add this way i feel like a weight lifted off my shoulders because i wanted to share it with you guys for so long but it wasn't done and the parts weren't coming in and even a part for the front is taking forever to get here if there's ever been a video that i wanted you to comment it's this video leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think did i absolutely like go off the wall crazy or does it look nice does it look cool but of course with that being said i'll give you guys one more walk around of the truck as the sun starts to come down and we end this video i hope you guys did enjoy please let me know by leaving the like a comment a subscription we're growing so fast we just hit a million views on this channel i literally wouldn't have been able to do it without you so i appreciate you very very freaking much so much there are a lot of videos that i haven't even gotten the chance to upload on the lift because you guys just wanted to see what's going on on this side i think it looks absolutely beautiful i think it looks rad i think it looks cool i don't even know i don't have words for it the back currently is my favorite but i think once the front is done up it's going to be my favorite as well there's just so many different things to look at and that's what i like about it like i don't know i feel like people are gonna be like oh is this black down on this side oh god i have to go look at this side is this side that oh bro that side is chrome hold on is this side black oh shoot that side's black oh my god oh, bro i'm gonna get inside the car i've cringed myself out is that chrome so many more mods to come i hope you guys did enjoy if you did please leave a like a comment and a subscription it's been your boy i'm out like an audi i'll see you tomorrow single tomorrow peace